All right, so the fat hamster is back, and I am of course on Arch Linux and the Pine Book Pro, and including DWM. Can't forget DWM. But as you can see, I've changed a few things, most notably the status bar up here. So I've got the uh, time, date, uh, battery, Wi Fi, audio, and then I have my little animation here so uh, I changed it a bit I rewrote it in fact I didn't just change it a bit I rewrote it and I rewrote it in C the first one was written in bash and I'm not really that happy with how some of the things internally turned out so I'm thinking about rewriting it again uh, so this video is not going to be about the status bar but if you guys want maybe I'll consider doing one on this C style or C based status bar but I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm not really that happy with the way it turned out but uh, I also changed my wallpaper here and this is actually a wallpaper from Mass Effect and if you look at it it kind of has the Paragon and the Renegade uh, representation at least that's how I view it um, and Mass Effect was just one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I got it when I was a kid. It was one of the first Xbox 360 games that I got. And, you know, back, I don't know, I guess this is like 2006, 2007, somewhere around there. Uh, this, E3 was a big thing. Like now, I guess because of the internet, really, I, I'm, not too, I'm not too sure. I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know. But E3 just kind of disappeared, fell off the map. And, you know... In my opinion, I think it had to, to do somewhat with the fact that um, in the past, you really had to get magazines, you had to um, have cable TV, right, to have access to, to watch uh, gaming shows. Like, now everything is on the internet, right? You can go online, watch people stream, give their comments on things, and you don't really need much. But back in the day, you know, it wasn't that easy. So, you know, I waited for E3 and they showed mass effect and i think the trailer was just showing uh the stars and stuff this is very very limited right but they they gave a, a few glimpses of uh the game and i was just blown away by it i thought i was fascinated by it you know and i had loved star wars when i was a kid but when i saw mass effect and the open world especially getting in the um the vehicle explorer to explore planets i was like jesus this is amazing so i had to get it and when i got it i was just amazed by it um the combat was a little bit slow compared to other games but the, it was really story driven right and as you got on in like mass effect 2 and 3 the game definitely became more about action and it's a little bit disappointing i guess but it was still great amazing game uh, just the last five minutes, of course, of Mass Effect 3 sucked, right? Because, you know, everything that you had done amounted to nothing, basically. Um, and then there's talks about that it was, I don't know, uh, I don't, uh, some psychological, uh, uh, what would you say? Like, uh, like all just, a. Uh, a, a play on Shepard, right? That it was, uh, the Reapers, I, I don't want to spoil the game, but great great amazing game i mean just yeah it's it's one of one of the the best games i've ever played in my life and uh, on the xbox 360 i know this is kind of sidetracking over here but you know the specs on it weren't that great right if we go uh three let's check out the specs it's just yeah it's just 3.2 gigahertz uh half a gig of ram uh and it was shared between the the cpu and gpu whereas i think the ps3 had dedicated on both sides but then at one point they threw software they unified it but you know of course the hardware wasn't really there so it wasn't as fast as this um another down uh, not downfall but handicaps of the ps3 but that's both of these topics don't relate but yeah the fact that mass effect was open world and ran on this hardware is just amazing um so yeah i just saw this wallpaper and I had to put it on because it brought me back to uh, being I don't know a kid again so yeah but in this video here of course before we start 
please give a like and a sub. I know I went on a huge, huge rant, but I would really, really appreciate it if you give a like and a sub. So let's open our terminal here. Uh, if if you have a laptop, especially a netbook, you will probably see in at least DWM. I haven't really used traditional desktop managers or um, environments. Sorry. For a very long time, I, I occasionally get on them just to, if I need to do something really quick and I don't have time in a new install, I mean, I don't have time to really go in and uh, get DWM and configure things, I will just use a traditional desktop. So, But I don't really use them long enough to notice many problems uh, anymore. So, yeah, if you go on DWM here, there is no configuration for a lot of the X um uh, tools that we have right so for example on the Pinebook Pro you have the touchpad and I love this laptop I really do just because of the fact that it is an arm CPU the battery is extremely good well not extremely good let me let me knock it back I'm not I can't I can't say it's extremely good but if you uh, lower the brightness down you you aren't doing too many resource in intensive things if you're just editing things uh, doing some light web browsing this thing can last you maybe half of the day right so yeah I, I really really like this this laptop but the only thing that I can really really point out that I really do not like is the touchpad because the touchpad is so wonky uh, if you use it without configuring it it is to be honest with you it's not good but once you configure it and you reduce or modify the acceleration uh you turn on tap to click and you have palm detection which is one of the things that really annoyed me because you know i'm a fat hamster so my hands are huge and so i'm typing or whatever and uh, while i'm typing i'll be like clicking right but you can enable palm detection inside of x so that while you're typing the touchpad is disabled and it works great for me i read online that uh it doesn't it doesn't solve the problem but for me it absolutely did solve the problem so how are we gonna fix this let's navigate to uh, slash etc slash uh, x11 slash xorg oh, dot d all right I also changed my uh, little bar uh, not bar my prompt here so I made it kind of nice. Um, I tried really hard to customize it. Let me know what you guys think about that. But anyway, so if we uh, just list the directory here, I have a bunch of configurations uh, for the monitor, the touchpad, and the keyboard. In this video, we're going to talk about the touchpad here um, because this is how we are going to fix the issue of like swiping the touchpad as you're typing the keyboard. Once I activated this, I did not have any problems. So let's just do a nano or whatever text editor you use. And here we go. This is the configuration that I made. And it's so, so simple. It's unbelievable, right? So we just start with section input class. We give this an, a name. So I just called it the PBP touchpad. And uh, this is the driver definition. I think you can use syn synaptic. But on the Arch Wiki page, it recommends not to use uh, the Synaptic uh, driver because it's no longer actively maintained. So any bugs that were there are probably still going to be there. Um, so anyway, yeah. So we match it on a touchpad and we enable this option. I enable the uh, option of tapping. So I don't want to have to like click. I hate doing that. It also damages the touchpad. So tapping is, is better. Um, well, it doesn't damage, but you know, it wears out the touchpad. So I would much rather tap it lightly than uh, have to change my touchpad in like two or three years. So anyway, yeah. Uh, also natural scrolling. So I enabled this. I guess this is not really relevant to the video. I'm just showing the configuration. But this is the um, 
palm detection here. So it says disable while typing true. This is the line that you need to add in this input configuration. Once you set this, just restart X and it should disable the touchpad while you are typing. And if we see here, um, uh, let me try to um, click. See, it's not as, um, it does not pop up with clicking we can see that it does um, it does seem to respond but tapping as I am now it does not so it will only respond to the click but to the tap it will not which was the most annoying part because as you're swiping well not swiping but as you're moving across the keyboard right you will uh, naturally pass this touchpad because the the form factor of this laptop is small right so it's really annoying when your when your palm swipes it and it starts to click so anyway uh, that's about it for this one I know I was ranting but if you appreciate the content if you like the fat fluffy red hamster uh, or the wallpaper or again the rant I know this wasn't really that type of vid a video please give a like and a sub and I really hope that you found this useful